Okay, so yesterday the well was up and running. We ran it for 20 minutes and the water was almost clear. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna fill up a couple of tanks and two reasons. One is to have water on hand for uh, emergencies or fires or... So we're gonna bring a tank closer to the build site and uh, yeah, we'll start draining into there because it should really run for uh, a bunch of hours. There's still a slight bit of settlement in there. I have to remember, nothing's been ever down that hole and it's been sitting like that for, yeah, 19 and a half years. So let's hook up this tank and get it going. problems let's check this ball out I think I kind of forgot about this the valve is closed and the ball is open so what the heck here okay the ball is now closed so I just put it in and I pushed really hard and it closed it now are we gonna have problems opening it probably anyway I just want to get some water into this and getting that well and pump uh, running. So we'll get this leveled a little bit better. I did want to put it up on uh, put it up on some dunnage, but and it's too hot and they're too far away. I think we'll just leave it like this. Okay, let's start filling this. Okay, well, let's watch and see how long this takes to fill. Whoa. Guess we better fix this situation. Like I was saying, it is 25 to one. So let's check back in at one o'clock and see where we're at with this. From the well pump, it is 675 feet with a hundred foot rise. So let's see. I just wanted to show you something. Look how fast this is filling up. So this is a, a hundred or a thousand liter tank and it's already a quarter full. See it right here. In, well, look for yourself. So one, two, I'm, I'm gonna, let's give it four minutes. It's been going for four minutes and this thing's Oh, you can see it. So that must be gallons. A thousand liters. Here's 250 gallons. So this is gallons and liters. So we're already at, so there's 75 and we're already past. We're not level. So let's just level it out and say it's 75 gallons. 75 gallons in four minutes. Boy, we've got some good water here and a really good pump at that distance. I'll sit down and do the calculations and I'll let you know on the screen right there what this is pumping. Now we did a little test yesterday and it worked out probably, what do you say, about 30 gallons, 30 gallons a minute. Yeah, so a little bit less over here, so that makes sense. So we're probably somewhere in the 20 to 25 gallons a minute. Wow. Yeah. That's super awesome. Okay, let's go start backfilling the wellhead and we'll give this a few minutes.
Okay, let's go over and have a look at the water tank. It is two minutes after one, so let's go check it out. So I think we'll end up quit stop back milling now. We're I just checked. We're somewhere in the mid 30s. Um, it's just hard on equipment, like your hydraulic hoses, your motors, extremely hot. Is it really worth putting your equipment through the BS for a few hours? I can do a lot more tonight. I'll be happier, and so will the machines. You know, oh, holy moly. I can see the water. Look at this. We've got a waterfall. Holy cow. So, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so you can see the time, it's five after one. And I would say this has been flooding for a little bit here. So, let's check this out. Oh, man. Whew, it's hot. That's beautiful, ice cold water. So, Oh. oh my god, I can't even explain to you how good this is. Except for my, my jacket is getting wet. I really want that. Okay, well, the GoPro shut off. It was too hot in the sun. And I've done some calculations. Like I said, I'll put it on the screen. But I think we're probably, probably around the 20 gallons per minute something like that anyway i'll do the math i'll put it on the screen like i said um and we're just going to shut things down today today's sunday it's 1 30 in the afternoon i'm heading for the lake i'm going to spend an afternoon at the lake and enjoying it so we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit and i'm hoping that you're having a wonderful day a wonderful weekend and all the best Oh my god. Oh, damn. Okay guys, it's time we start backfilling this tank. As you can see, I filled it up with water over two weeks ago. What I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure there was no leaks in this tank. This way, there's never any headaches. Um, so I did put a little bit of gravel on this side. Now I have to start putting on the big side, start filling this in slowly. That's the plan. So hang tight, we're gonna go get the tractor in. It's a little bit of handwork. Wanna there was a lot of big rocks that went in there, so I just want to make sure and just kind of just do a little bit by hand, make sure nothing's puncturing the tank, and get it level here because we're gonna put something across the top so it doesn't crush, and then we have access to that hole. So that's the plan. Okay, well we're getting it compacted in with the water. We're letting it I've been at it for about 20 minutes. This is the best way to compact it. And we're gonna leave it at about this height because we're gonna put uh, a couple four by four. Okay, so the plan is to get this dirt level with these areas right here. And then we're gonna, I gotta build a box around this to get it up to that high height of the, um, 
the bank, which will be about this high, probably just under two feet. And then I'm gonna lay, I just had another idea too. So we're gonna see how this pans out. So. This, this is gonna help keep weight off the top of the tank. That's a thumbs up. Okay, so I just picked up some supplies over by the lumber store there, the mill. So that piece of plywood, we're gonna cut it in four pieces at 16 inches. And we're just, whatever that width is, that's where we're gonna go with the size of the box. Uh, we have some rigid insulation. We have some two by fours. So we're just going to make a box up here, we're going to set it down, and then we'll build around it, and we'll tie it into the uh, 4x4s. So what we're doing is making an access to the tank. Let's get busy, let's start cutting things up here. Probably wondering pretty weak this is all going to be in filled with gravel and we're going to insulate this right now good we'll get everything down to that side for level just oh. what happens, that's going to fit on the inside beauty Okay, we're gonna take one more board. I'm just gonna lay it, we'll split it in half. All right. Ta da! Now we're ready for backfilling. Now that we have the tank buried somewhat, this is going to be the exit pipe. So what I need to do, this is going to be a 60 foot run, so over 60 feet I need to drop 15 inches. But trying to figure that out is going to be crazy. And if you remember when I did the gates, I brought out that green laser, but this is really what I bought it for. It, so I've set it, so we now, right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down there, make a mark at this height. Then we just need to measure down 15 inches and that's where the pipe needs to end. So this is why I bought that this laser. All right, so this is the end of the hole. Let's see what we have here. Right. 
there. Okay. That's way too easy, right? So now what we need to do, we need to measure down 15 inches from here. And that's where the pipe needs to be. So let's go right here, right there. paint. Okay, so that thing is just so easy. So what I need to do from that 15 um, level mark, I need to start getting gravel in here. So I'm just going to make a line here and we're going to see how this runs. Pretty cool, eh? I think that's pretty awesome. Also, when I start building the the cribbing for the house, this is gonna come in so handy. You don't have to start trying to level, just bang, set one corner and that's it. So anyway, it looks like we're in pretty good shape here. Looks like I don't have to add too much dirt. I just have to add gravel which is good um, I'm not sure how I got that lucky but as you can see I'm gonna take the rake and just start leveling this out a little bit and yeah pretty awesome okay I'm just gonna go get a different uh, can of paint and we'll mark this properly 